Hey you guys, this is Ruben Rex, so this is semi-final two. Um semi-final one is gonna be like so like I'm I'm not sure at all. Because there are three countries like Iceland, Croatia and Denmark, where I'm like, I don't know if they will pass or if Armenia will pass. Uh so yeah, there are four countries that I'm not sure about. All the other countries I, I am sure about almost. So Tell me your top 10 in that semi-final reaction. And now I'm going to react to semi-final 2. Which I think is going to be less complicated to predict. This song will qualify for sure. Because the, the juries will vote for it. Ah, it also has the benefit that it's starting first. So that's a very positive thing. I just don't know if it's strong enough to to get the also public vote, but I think it will qualify. I have to win the public vote, but it will qualify for sure. Uh, this song is personally one of my favorites, and I'm 100% sure that it will qualify. So for now, number one and number two are qualifying. Which are, you're gonna see how good my memory is, Finland and Israel. We're gonna do a little memory test. I used to do this and I had like a super high memory IQ. But this was when I was like 20, yes. I hope it's still the same. There's nothing shrinking down. Give it to me now. This song will qualify 100%. There is just something uh, kind of hype about it. I'm just, I'm just sure about it. Just, don't ask me why. More, more, more. It's just very catchy and the staging, if it's going to be like in Serbia, it's just very beautiful. The the effects, the message and yeah, I just, there is just no doubt about this. More, more, more. The song, no. I don't think it's strong enough. It's not good enough. Uh, Although the video is really nice, but this is always the problem with Azerbaijan that they make really nice videos. It's like in 2019, and then the song is like, yeah, it's like okay. But I find for a ballad, it's beautiful. I don't mind it. I would put it on my Spotify in the background. I like its voice. I find it's unique as an artist. He has a good pronunciation also, but I just don't think it's strong enough, especially in the semi-final, where all the first three countries are <laughs> certain to qualify. So we have Finland, Israel, and what was the other one? Uh, Serbia. Uh, they qualify, for sure. Then Georgia, I'm not 100% sure, but I would say it's 80% sure, because there is nothing else like this. I will also make a reaction to their official video after this. I have to remind myself. So, I have to do Denmark. I, I'm just gonna write everything. No, I'm just gonna remember it. It's okay. Sorry, I don't want to like bother you with that. And what I am. This song is one of my favorites. Like, really, I love this song. I love, I, I love everything about it. It's very positive. It's very happy. I'm always a big fan of Malta anyways. Apparently there is some drama because she changed the song. This is what people don't like, but people who will watch Eurovision will not know that. But a lot of people say that maybe it's a bit too much in your face. Like, I always say be yourself, which is good. But some people say that's a bit too much of that. Even like, like people that like that, like other channels like Weblogs and East United. Some of them, I heard them saying, some people, I heard them saying this, that it's a bit too much. And that she should have kept her original song. And other people wanted Ritmo to win. So I don't know. There's just so much drama about it. But I know she's famous in Italy. So maybe she should have sing it in Italian. I don't know. So yeah. I, I think it will qualify though. But 
I can be wrong. There's a lot of drama about it. So Malta. You can look at my reaction. By the way, I love this song. You can my you can look at my reaction in my uh, on my channel. I want to say in my channel, and you will see that I'm very very like happy and excited about this song. This is one of my uh, fav. This is a, a song that I really like. I just don't know if other people feel the same way because I like I said there's too much drama about it. So I'm putting Malta as like a borderline qualifier for now. Uh, yeah. This song, however, I'm sure that it will qualify. First of all, he's in Italy, so yeah, that's his country basically. Because he he's representing San Marino, but he's Italian. Also, I like him as an artist. I made a lot of reactions to his music. I love a lot of his songs. I find he's very original. He's a bit like Damiano, like this very nonchalant guy with tattoos, which is very normal in Sanremo. A lot of artists have tattoos there. I don't know why it's a thing there. Uh, I watched all five evenings of San Remo and I watched the final of San Marino. So when I saw that Achille Laro did not win in San Remo, I was a bit disappointed because I really liked that song, Dominica. Uh, but when I saw and with the Harlem Gospel Choir, that was really cool too. And he made like a big, big like, uh, how do you say that in English? Ophef. Uh, I don't remember. It was very like provocative that he was putting the water and you know, like with Cyprus last year, the, the church was not happy with that, the Vatican. Uh, but why the Vatican is watching Eurovision, you know? Like, <laughs> why would you even care? But yeah, the Vatican is also, they speak Italian. So of course they watch some Remo, but like, it's a bit weird. <laughs> so uh, we don't care what they say. Uh, but um, yeah, I find it funny that he just doesn't care. And he's very provocative. Like Damiano, I like those kind of artists because yeah, they are a kind of rebels, and who doesn't like rebels? Everybody likes rebels. And also the way he does it is really nonchalant and like, I don't care. If you if you saw the way he was performing also in San, in San Marino, in the final, he was just there like, okay, I'm gonna do my performance, and then we will see what will happen. <laughs> and he won, like with the, yeah, very convincing. So I just find him as an artist, uh, and his music also, he just made a new album and he said, okay, I'm going to choose a song for San Marino. And he won with it like like, like it was nothing. Also, the competition was not that big in San Marino because it's a small country. But still, I, I'm just so happy that he's in Eurovision and he's in Italy. So for sure that he will qualify. So we have a lot of countries already that I'm sure that will qualify. And some that are borderline, like Malta. This song, there is a lot of like hype about it, and I made a reaction to it also. I personally think it will qualify. I, I, I'm almost like 100% about it because I hear so many people saying that this is one of the best ballads also uh, with all those other ballads that are obvious uh, to also be favorites. Uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm almost sure that it will qualify. But to be sure, I write it because um, maybe some people will not understand this who don't watch Eurovision. However, I don't know how to, how big that percentage is. That like I think most people with internet and YouTube and TikTok are getting so much information that they know what's going on in Eurovision. But I can be wrong, and if that's the case, if that's like fifty percent of the people watching that doesn't know anything about him or about the song, then I'm not sure if it will qualify because the song is a bit Broadway, you know, musical. You see what I mean? Cyprus, yes. Qualifying for sure. I love um, uh, this here. Uh, I, I love this song. I really, really love this song. And I, 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 I made a reaction to it 
just like Albania, it's blocked, so you will have it in 30 days. Uh, sorry for that, that's not my fault, because I don't want to cut like parts of it. So I leave it until 30 days and then you will see my reaction, uh, which is after your vision. So that's a bit unfortunate for both countries. So yeah, anyway, great song, great job. And I think that's like one of the most Greek songs they could have made. Like they could have not made a song more Greek than this. Also, she's half German, so she will have also the support from Germany. I think, I don't know if that's happened with Stefania last year. Uh, I don't remember if she got 12 points from the Netherlands. I don't think so. Uh, so, I don't know if that plays a part, but she's half German. Like the the girl from Greece is a Norwegian, so maybe? Yeah, they always get points from, from like Greece. So, yeah, I'm not worried for them because the song is just so good. And this is a kind of music from Panic Records also that I always listen to, like, I just discovered this music when I went to Greece in 2019 and I was like, why this music is not going to Eurovision and why is it not being represented outside of like Greece? And I know why, but uh, because Greece is a small country, but uh, well, the country not, but it has a small population. So it's not having like the big, like, like Spanish music, you know, uh, but this, this is really like, you cannot have more Greek music like this. This is what you hear on the radio in Greece. So I love that they that they went for a song like this. And I, I love that they went for such a famous artist because she's, she's very famous. I love this song. I'm just not sure if it will qualify, but I really love it. Yeah, I've seen her live performance. When I saw this video, I was like, mm. and when it just came out, I was like, mm. but I've seen her live performance, her live session. Oh, by the way, I still have to make a reaction on that too. Um, but uh, because I just like her live performance a lot. Uh, but I don't know if she will qualify. I, I, I just, I'm not just not sure because. It's a bit repetitive, even though the lyrics are really good and she's very funny and she's a good singer because she has been in The Voice. So, borderline also. Yeah. Which I'm sad about because I love like Ireland and I love like the song. So I'm a bit sad about that, but I think it's going to be one of those songs, like what I was saying about Malta, that will be, I, I'm not sure if it will qualify, and if it will qualify, it will be borderline. I like this song. It's a, again a song that I like. But I'm not seeing people on the internet liking it, so... I don't know. I think that's because of the first version that she brought, uh, that she put out was not the revamp and it was a bit like boring and uh, repetitive. So I think that's what made people a bit like hate, not hate, but like not liking the song. But when I see the revamp, I find it so good that I'm like, I don't understand why people don't like it. So uh, on that, I'm basing that it's not going to qualify. Personally, I would make it qualify. So. Yeah, again, a borderline qualifier. Estonia will qualify for sure. 100%. This song will qualify for sure, 100% sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The way he sings, his voice, the fact that he has so much experience. Even without the video, even the performance was just like epic. He will also get all the votes from Armenia because he, he's also from Armenia. And yeah, he's just like a great. 
also how like uh, motivated he is. He he, I think he tried five times or three times already, and he did not manage. And this year he managed. So I'm really like proud of him, happy for him. And the video is just like one of the best videos for Eurovision that I ever saw, and very beautiful. Uh, the performance. I hope it's gonna be as good as an Estilao, if not better. So we will see. This song will qualify for sure, for sure. I love this song. And as you guys see in my reaction of Romania, you guys know that I'm a big fan of Romania. Hola, mi bebe, country of Manelli and Transylvania. Yamame, yamame. Hola, mi bebe. Hola, mi bebe. Hey! It's just very original, and he, he's such a charismatic guy. Like, I saw him with Ronella and with like, you know, in all the Eurovision in concerts, all the interviews. He's so funny. He's such a nice guy. He's very honest also about himself. And he's called VRS, which means Urs, also in French it's the same, which means bear. And he says he calls himself like this because he says in winter he always sleeps. <laughs> and then in spring and summer he comes alive. So I find him very funny. He's a bit in his own world, in his own cloud. Uh, but he's also a very smart guy. Uh, and he's, yeah, he's a real artist and, and he's also a very hard worker and very smart and his music is excellent he has other songs also that are really good and I just like also the fact that he's so humble and so LGB you know friendly and yeah I just he's really humble he's like a guy from the mountains and in Romania that's like I'm just happy to be here at the same time, he has a lot of projects. He's the kind of guy that cannot sit still. And he's always doing something. So a bit like Sergei, I guess. Uh, yeah. Big fan of uh, this artist. Happy to have discovered him. To discover him, sorry. That's, uh, and happy to uh, understand uh, more of him. And uh, just think that he adds a lot to the artist, the interviews, and the music. And uh, yeah, just all... The first time he met Chanel in Barcelona, just every time I see him in Eurovision concert, he makes me happy. Also in Holland and Amsterdam, I saw his performance and his interviews. He's just so, such a nice guy, such a friendly guy. This song will qualify for sure. This song is really, really good. And then every concert I see this song and I hear that part like, oh, the river. It's like, oh my God, like that, that's going to do magic on stage. I, 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 I just think this song has something very special and it's one of the best ballads. One of the best singers too. He has been in The Voice. And he's very famous already, hold on. I love this song. I don't know why, there is just something about this song. So, for me, this is a qualifier for sure. This is just my opinion. You can disagree with me, but I just love this song and I love her voice. It's an amazing song. Uh, I don't know, there is something very special about this song. Okay, uh, I, I just remind that there's still a lot of songs that I made, did not even make a reaction to, like North Macedonia and Cyprus, uh, Ireland, sorry, and uh, the new video of Georgia. And also, I said, yeah, there's just a lot of songs that I still did not like finish because I'm also doing like music after Eurovision because I'm like cannot only make music about Eurovision so yeah I'm just a, a, a very busy and after this I'm gonna make my top 10 and then I'm gonna finish all the countries because I feel like I, I want to do all the countries uh, but uh, this song uh, you will see my reaction uh, sorry I did not make it yet uh, I I don't think it will qualify
even though he's a really good singer, he's a good dancer, the song is not catchy. It's just it's just a bit boring and repetitive and and they're gonna meet you now. It's just yeah, now that I just don't like that at all. And R and B, I don't like R and B. So I'm sorry. This is this is just my video, my reaction, my my uh, taste, and uh, I just uh, feel like this is not gonna go through. Uh, it has a bit that same like Ireland, like yeah, too repetitive, and you cannot compare that. But like also what people are saying about North Macedonia. Which I highly disagree with, but yeah, I just feel like those three countries are the songs are not good enough and too repetitive. Uh, however, in this semi final, I guess one of those three will qualify. Out of those three, if I have to choose between Belgium, uh, Ireland, and North Macedonia, then I think Ireland has the biggest chance. I personally would put North Macedonia, but I would put. Uh, uh, I think Ireland has the biggest chance. It reminds me a bit... I don't know. I can be completely wrong. I can be also wrong and it can also be Belgium and not Ireland and not North Macedonia. So I don't know. Between those three countries, I just don't know. This song will qualify for sure. So I'm writing the ones that go qualify for sure down. Uh, because I I I remember the first ones, but I'm forgetting the ones in the end. So my memory is good, but not that good. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Sweden. Don't be mine, don't be fine. Oh, it kills me, I'll find the right one at the wrong. It's just very smart because I told Sweden already for years. I've done their finals for years. You can watch my uh, reaction to the national final on my channel. Also of France, of Moldova, uh, of Norway. Um, yeah, I have those finals also. But uh, I had so much fun making the reaction to the national final. And I really enjoyed her performance. And uh, they just had such a good final, like last year also, that you can also watch on my channel. Um, yeah, I just love Sweden every year. And I really like the fact that they kept it simple and that they finally listen to what I said, keep it simple and you will go far. And um, yeah, that's really smart. Some people say it's like a potential winner, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, however, I love it. Um, especially that part where it's changing, where it's like... Doof, doof. And yeah, I just always a big fan of Sweden. So I just don't know. I just... I just don't know if it's gonna be like such a high finisher as people think. I don't know. However, she has such a good voice and the song is so original. And I'm so happy they kept it simple for once. So I think it's gonna qualify to the finals for sure and then top 10 or top five. But yeah, I don't think it will win, but I think top five, top 10, yes, for sure. So, good job, Sweden. Um, then we have uh, We Are Domi with Lights Off, uh, which is going to be the finisher of this semi-final. Okay, so uh, Czech Republic, I write it down too. Czech Republic is qualifying also, for sure, because it's such a fan favorite and such a good song. I've seen her performances also in Israel, in Amsterdam, and she was so good. That's cool, like semi-final one, they finish with Norway, and then semi-final two, they finish with the Czech Republic, which is basically uh, also a bit Norwegian, because it's also two Norwegian people. Uh, so that's cool for Norway, for Norway and all the Norwegian people. Where are you now? So yeah, I see that also the guy from Australia is also singing the song of Sweden. That's cool also, maybe for a reaction. Anyway. Uh, so, from this semi-final, I'm 100% sure about these countries. I'm going to start naming them. Estonia, 
Oh, sorry. I have to go from the beginning. So I said Finland. Finland is number one. Then I said number two. Sorry, I just forgot the beginning. Ah, Israel. Number two, Israel. Israel. Then number three is uh, Serbia. That's the one I forgot also. Serbia. And then number four, I don't remember if I said yes. No, Azerbaijan, no. Uh, Georgia, I said. Okay, Georgia, I have it. Okay, so here I have all my countries. Um, out of those countries, I have my top ten. I'm just missing one. So, Finland, yes. Uh, Finland, yes. Israel, yes. Uh, Serbia, yes. Um, Azerbaijan, no. Georgia, uh, borderline. I still missing a number ten, so maybe that will be Georgia. I don't know. It's borderline for now. Malta also borderline. Did I put San Marino? I did not put San Marino. Okay, that's my number 10. So this is my number 10. I was missing one. Sorry for that. I, 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 I just didn't like prepare the... I said I'm going to remember, but then in the end I did not remember. Uh, so uh, Finland, Israel, Serbia, Estonia, Romania, Poland, Montenegro, Sweden, Czech Republic and San Marino. Those are, sorry, I wrote Czech, so I just put Republic because otherwise I forget. Those are my top 10 to qualify for semi-final two. And all the borderline qualifiers, I would say Malta, I would say Georgia, San Marino, no, that's not a borderline, that's for sure that it will qualify. And then I would say Australia. Uh, so I would say, Either Montenegro or Australia. I always do one. Um, I always, always have in semi-final one also. Uh, I always have one uh, uh, place where there are two countries because I just don't know. So uh, between Australia and Montenegro, anything can happen. Um, then I did not put Cyprus. Oh. Okay, that's a bad sign that I did not put Cyprus. Yeah, Ireland and North Macedonia will not qualify. Uh, Belgium neither. Okay, so Cyprus has to... Okay. Then instead of... Uh, th then uh, my number 10 will be San Marino. For sure. Czech Republic for sure, Sweden for sure. Then, 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 then I don't know. I don't know about Cyprus. I would put Cyprus um, number five. Cyprus uh, number seven, and then I think Cyprus will qualify. Yes. Uh, and I think that uh, Montenegro and Australia will not qualify. That's my opinion. Uh, but I can be wrong. It will be between those three countries because uh, about Finland, I'm sure. About Israel, I'm sure. About Estonia, I'm sure. About Serbia, I'm sure. About Romania, I'm sure. About Poland, I'm sure. About Sweden, I'm sure. About Czech Republic, I'm sure. About San Marino, I'm sure. Which I'm sure some of you people will say San Marino, no. But I'm sure about San Marino. Um, so yeah, then between Montenegro, Australia and Cyprus, anything can happen. So one of those three countries will qualify as my number seven, but I just don't know which one. If I have to guess, I guess it's going to be Cyprus. So yeah, I guess it's going to be Cyprus. Uh, anyway, because I guess Montenegro is too, too, too small to ballot. And I guess Australia is the same. So yeah, I guess Cyprus will qualify. 
and then uh, Montenegro and Australia will be borderline qualifiers or they will not qualify. So I don't. I think those two countries will not qualify uh, because there's too much competition and one has to qualify and two cannot. There cannot be three qualifiers, only one. <laughs> so uh, then my top 10 is Finland, Israel, Estonia, Serbia, Romania, Poland, Cyprus, Sweden, Czech Republic and San Marino. That's my top 10. Tell me if you agree. Let me know what you think, what you feel. If you agree, if you disagree, let me know your top 10. And uh, tell me, uh, uh, don't forget to be yourself, be nice to yourself and each other. Uh, likes, comment, subscribe, especially subscribe and likes because that helps the algorithm. Because we're working with robots and the more likes and subscribe, the more my channel grows and the more you can get content of my channel and the more uh, epic I become. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. And uh, so, yeah, that's my top 10. I really have to drink. Uh, I love Akila Lao. And you might say, Ruben, you're crazy. Do you really think Samarillo will qualify? Yes, I'm 100% sure. First of all, because this guy is a legend in Italy, so he will have a lot of love. Second of all, because a lot of people are fanning out on him, especially like the same way they did with like Mana Skin. Um, third of all, yeah, because he's Italian. So I think he's going to do the best results for San Marino ever. Like I know Senate should have done the best result for San Marino ever, but because there was two years, there were so many like epic pops that did not even like go in the top 10. Or, yeah, that did not even, like, uh, do as well as people were thinking, were expecting. So, of this one, I'm sure that he's going to end up in the top 10, at least top 15. So, top 10 for sure. Mm. Then I will make my uh, prediction for the big five. Uh, big six or big five. Oh, no, it's a big five because Italy is the host and they're always in the big five. So uh, out of the big five, uh, because I don't think there's a video. If there is, I will make it after. But uh, for now, I will just tell you uh, that I think it's going to be Italy will qualify. France will qualify. Spain will qualify. These are all for sure. Um, UK, I think that they will qualify. Oh, but they are all qualified uh, automatically to the final. I mean the placement. Okay, out of those top five, out of those five countries, I think that will have the best result will be uh, probably Italy, then second uh, Chanel from Spain. Those I'm just putting the order. Uh, then I think uh, the third will be um, which country am I forgetting? Big five. Uh, I'm forgetting one country. Weird. Okay, so Germany will not. So Germany will be the fifth. UK will be my number four. And then uh, Italy is my number one. Spain is my number two. And then my number three is... Um, what's that other country? Why am I forgetting? Eh? What are the biggest... F ah, France. Oh my God. Okay, so uh, yeah. I think out of those three countries, Italy and Spain and France will have the best results. And I think, uh, yeah, the other two countries, UK and Germany, I'm just not sure about them and about their performance and about their songs. So uh, even though I really like the song from UK, but I just don't know if it's like special enough uh, because it's quite um a capellic ish it's not very um it's not like a banger or like you know it's very yeah it's 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 quite simple let's say and a little bit repetitive so even though i like the guy and i know he's very famous on tiktok and he i know he has a great voice i think uk yes you're gonna have a good result you're gonna go in the top 15 whatever but i i really don't uh, see it doing as well as Spain, nor Italy, uh, nor France. So that's just my opinion. I could be wrong because France, I'm still like a bit doubting because I saw them 
performing it live, I was like, eh. But then it was like Eurovision in concert, like in Israel and in uh, another country, um, and in Holland too. I, I found they were good, but like without all the effects and all the, I found it a bit like messy. Uh, that's what people even said in national final performance, that it was a bit messy. So they will have to work on it. And then the final product, if it's like, if they do it like in France, then I think for sure, if it's a bit, little bit less messy, because some people said it was a little bit messy, I personally did not mind. I did not see or feel that. Uh, I just found it epic. But you can see that in my reactions, by the way. Then I think that France uh, will do very well and will have a very good result. If they do it the same way as in, in France, I think they will go top, top five for sure. Uh, if, if, if they make it even better, then they can even go like top three. So the, the out of the big five, my, my top three are definitely Italy, Spain and France. That's just my opinion. And then I know other people will have other opinions, but that's my opinion. And I think out of the big five, those three countries will do the best. However, I think UK will have a good place as well, like top 15, uh, wherever in the top 15, but in the top 15. And uh, Germany, I think it's, I think if, I don't think it will do well. I think it's a kind of song like, a bit like, yeah, this kind of song that not everybody understands or likes this kind of music or responds to this kind of music. So I don't think it's uh, strong enough uh, to have a good result. That's just my opinion. Uh, sorry, Germany. Uh, I think you have to make more effort uh, because it's not good enough this year. Uh, however, I did appreciate your national final uh, and I did find there were some good songs in there, but I just don't know why this song won because I didn't find it was the best. Uh, however, again, the national final was excellent uh, and I found especially the performance of Jamala was very, was a very, very moving and touching. I saw she performed also in some other countries, uh, but I found in Germany it was really, really... Um, yeah, it was just the first country where she performed, so it was really special. Um, yeah, that's all gonna be for me. That's my top twenty. Uh, that's my top ten to the second semi-final, and then I have all my countries. So uh, the first semi-final, so I can make a, a video separate about the countries that I think that will qualify. Um, but in my first semi-final. I had Portugal, Netherlands, Moldova, Lithuania, Ukraine, Albania, Denmark, uh, Iceland or Croatia, and then uh, Greece, Austria and Norway. So between Denmark, Iceland and Croatia, I don't know which one will qualify. That's again, like uh, in my semi-final two, my number seven is three countries, which out of those three, I don't know who will qualify. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, in semi-final two, I'm a bit sure that Cyprus will qualify instead of Montenegro or Australia. Um, but in semi-final one, I'm not sure if Denmark will win against Iceland or against... Yeah, I, I, I think that's going to be between those two. But Croatia also, I find the song is nice. So one of those three. So, uh, and that's my semi-final one. And I made a video about that. And then my semi-final two. You just had the results. And um, yeah. I think that's uh, that's uh, gonna happen, probably. I can be completely wrong. I'm just, you know, making predictions and just from what I saw and what I saw from other people. Uh, like I always watch, like is the United and Wee blogs. I don't base any anything that I watch on their channels uh, on my own channel or on, on nor on my own predictions. But I do think that. Uh, yeah, that uh, those countries will qualify just because of what I saw, what I heard, uh, also myself uh, and also the performances uh, and the national finals and just the feeling I have. I just, yeah, feel that. Uh, and then in the final, we will see what happens. But uh, for me, that is going to be the final, those countries. So again, in the final, Ruben Rex says, that are going to be Portugal, Netherlands, Moldova, Lithuania, Ukraine, Albania, 
then uh, Denmark or Iceland or Croatia, I don't know which one. Uh, then Greece, Australia, Austria, sorry, and Norway. That's my semi-final one. And then semi-final two, Finland, Israel, Estonia, Serbia, Romania, Poland, Cyprus, Sweden, Czech Republic, and San Marino. So those two semi-finals, those are going to be the 20 countries plus the big six. Uh, is it No, plus the big five, sorry. So those will be my 25 countries to qualify. Um, tell me your uh, top 20. Tell me your, uh, yeah, top 20, because I gave you the top 20 now. And what you think is going to happen uh, in May and who, which countries will qualify to the final. And if you agree with me or not about the big five, if you agree with me or not about semi-final one and semi-final two, let me know in the comments. And again, subscribe. Always be yourself, be nice yourself and each other. And yeah, that's all I had, I had to say about semi-final two. And also the big five. So do do it. Ciao, ciao. And my prediction for the final. Uh, and uh, arrivederci because we're going to Italy. Au revoir. Alles bra tussen tag. Hasta luego. And uh, that's all the languages I know. So uh, see you next video. Wishing you a great day. Don't forget to subscribe again. Okay. Ciao, ciao. Do do it. Hey, arrivederci.